Oh, that's awesome! Eat steak and drink whiskey. Got an update on the Sasquatch steamer, uh, the boiler engine. Check it out. Got a water pump, manual water pump. Uh, holds three and a half gallons of water. We're fingering that uh, the boiler actually only holds water from the sight glass here to there. So maybe a, a gallon and a half, two. But I don't want to, and here's, we're going to hook it up right into here with the water pump to prime it with water first and keep up with it. Instead of a garden hose, I want everything to be uh, manual, manual Lewis. There's the engine. What else did I do? Oh, we uh, caulked the seam here between the new wood stove, firebox, and the boiler. So that worked really good. I'm going to repaint it. Where is that caulking? It's a, what's it called? Flame, flame stopper, 5,000 degrees. I found this generator at the Circle Bar Ranch. It works, two plug-ins, and we're thinking hook it up to the engine if it's powerful enough. That's two horsepower at the most. How many horse is this? This is three. So I think it's gonna be, it'd be really cool. Take the engine off and put this generator, bolt it like permanently here. So you can start the steam engine, get the, uh, get a V belt to the generator. What else? Uh, oh, got, uh, got a four way, not the good kind, like you want it to be. <laughs> and I got to put that here for the Lunkenheimer whistle. Both of them are Lunkenheimers. One's way bigger than the other. Anyways, do a three-way, put the big one in the center, and three whistles total. He's got, my un Uncle Jack the Wagon has another, uh, a couple of, uh, where are they at? There they are, look at the size of that thing. There's my hand. Slap that baby on there. <laughs> so we're taking this smaller whistle here. And then I put the showcase, it's going to be the bigger Lunkenheimer in the middle. So I got to buy some more brass parts for to hook up that. We're going to leave it right there on the weld it right to the, uh, the fender of the trailer. I think that'd be great. Same width. And you sit here, I'm right handed. So I'll leave it like that and pump it. And I can still see the sight glass as I pump. You gotta, you gotta have it right in there. That level. Oh, we uh, caulked the door closed permanently. So no smoke will come out of that. It's stuck in good with this stuff. It seems really good. It's flexible, not caulking. I don't know, I like it. I've never seen that before. I got it, uh, I got it at home desk spot. But everything looks good. As soon as I get the connection, we will start a fire. No, first we'll put water in it, see if there's any leaks, then start the fire if all checks out and get it cranking. I got a lead, there's the engine, on a, another vertical engine. So with governor, balls out, it's, it's totally balls out, a whistle, and a really nice, this is a uh, oil displacement lubricator. That's where the steam oil goes into, which is right here. Has to be steam oil. Anyways, I'm thinking about buying another engine. And it's separate from a boiler. I'm pretty sure this boiler will run it. Two horsepower, that's only, that's two also. So that's what it was designed for, but have two engines and just run one will run a generator, one will run, you know, grandma's. I don't like this oil displacement. It's cheap, small. Don't know the nuances of running a, a steam engine. You know, how much oil do you allow in? You know, you turn that, I don't know, while it's running. 
Is this six drops an hour? I don't know. Got to figure this out. All right, stay tuned for more hot, steamy, boiling action here at Off Grid Whiskey. And cross your fingers that it runs soon. Never know, you may need a two horsepower engine running your coffee grinder. <laughs>